Excuse you. Hi everyone and happy Wednesday. Hi Willie. Are you going to help me out here? This week's video, we are going to be talking about a snake with a cloacal prolapse and how we surgically repair that. And it is not this snake. My snake here, Willie. No snake bites, please. Snake, no snake bites. My snake doesn't have a name. Snake was getting a little stressed out, so I put her away. <laughs> Anyways, this video is really neat. It goes through the surgical procedure to correct a cloacal prolapse. This is something that can happen in reptiles as well as birds. And scope the video out. Hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, tell me what you think in the comments. Thank you. So this is a green tree python, and he came in for what's called a prolapse. And this is a cloacal prolapse. So this tissue, this cloaca, is something that's kind of unique to reptiles. And basically, anything that would come from the reproductive tract, or the GI tract, or the urinary tract, goes into this shared space called the cloaca. And sometimes these guys can actually prolapse that tissue. Uh, there's multiple reasons that can happen. One of those being when they're egg bound, if they have eggs stuck in there, then they can't get out. Sometimes they've eaten things inappropriate, like rocks or things, and so they have an obstruction, and so they try to force that out, and then they actually prolapse tissue. And sometimes they just have some dehydrated stool in there, and they're trying to get out. Um, this is a unique circumstance in that these green tree, tree pythons are actually a species that's prone to this without an underlying cause, like obstruction or, or, or egg binding or something of that nature. And so what we do is we just shrink it down with some really high concentration sugar water, that actually causes kind of an osmotic effect and brings out some of the fluid from the tissue to try to shrink it and then in effect we'll have a better chance of actually bringing it down. So we've lubed up that tissue and all we're going to do now is bring it back where it belongs, inside the animal, of course. And so I usually just do that with a Q-tip or two. Get it in there and then work those Q-tips out. Now, of course, this snake's going to be at risk for this happening again. And so what we need to do to avoid that is put some stay sutures to effectively make that vent or the hole a little bit smaller. Then when it's smaller, it'll be big enough just to pass stool and what it needs to, but hopefully not the cloaca or the vent or another organ. And sometimes they do prolapse other organs like the bladder. I've seen a GI where they actually prolapse part of their intestine. Um, it can be pretty nasty, but I would say this is more of the standard what we see, and it's just that cloacal tissue. So what we're going to do now is actually numb the area with some local anesthetic topically and then probably a couple small injections so she doesn't feel when I actually take the suture and bite through. And I'm just going to put a little bit of local anesthetic just on both sides because this is kind of where we're suturing. Just a tiny, tiny bit. That's more than enough. So we're just putting our suture in. Here's the actual vent. That's where the cloaca came out of. So all we're doing is putting a suture, or a purse string in a sense, just basically one loop of suture biting in a couple different spots just to tighten it up. So what's gonna, that's effectively gonna do is not allow the vent to open up to a certain size. And the idea behind that is to prevent tissue from coming out and, and prolapsing again. And so we just leave this in for two to four weeks I'll take another bite here. So I did one there. I'm going to do one up here, then one down here. So sometimes you get a little bit of blood, and that's totally normal. So I'm just pulling this other suture through. This one through. And we're just going to take one more bite. Right there. That's perfect. So now it's basically a loop surrounding that vent. 
And then what we'll do is we'll tie it up. Perfect. So get right in there. All we're doing here, just tying off this. And you know, the the key thing about this is you don't want to tie it too tight. But tight enough to where the tissue's not going to come back out. If it's too tight, they won't be able to poop or move things normally through. So we're doing is just tightening that down. I'll check how loose that is. Okay, so the syringe still gets in fine, but it's not too loose. So I'm just going to tie a couple more knots in the suture just to get it secure. That's pretty much it. That's your stay suture right there. So I'll cut off the excess suture. What did you think of that, Mr. Willie? Was that fascinating? Yes. Willie loves surgery videos. So FYI, that snake did just fine after that procedure. And again, hope you guys enjoyed watching. Leave comments. Let me know what you think. If you guys like these surgery videos, I like making them, so I'll keep posting them and putting them on my YouTube page here. And one more thing that I'd like to mention is that I get questions every day on uh, social media asking, how do I become a vet? How do I do what you do? And so do me a favor, watch this video if you have questions. And I'm going to put a link right here and scope that out. That's going to give you a lot of advice on how to become a vet and a bit about my path in becoming a vet. I hope you enjoy that video as well and take care. Thank you.